You want to add more RAM to your Minecraft server, let's go ahead and jump on into how to do that. Now, I am assuming that your server is already set up here, as you can see ours is. If your server's not, we'd have an in-depth guide on it in the description down below, how to make a Minecraft server and play Minecraft with your friends, video guide, text guide, and this is always up to date to the most recent version of Minecraft. Before we get into this, you'll also need to get Java and run the jar fix on your computer. Step one is get Java. There's a guide on this in the description. If you've already got Java, awesome. If you don't, and later on we try to run the run.bat file and it doesn't work, you need to get Java. And then you also need to run the jar fix. And this is going to take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java. I wanted to mention this on the front end because it's typically the most common issue that people run into after they've added RAM to their server. Nonetheless, let's go ahead and minimize our browser, and as I said, our server is already set up. Now, by default, when you double-click on this server.jar, the server will start, but there's not a defined amount of RAM. To do that, we want to go ahead and create a new text file. So right-click, and then create a new text document. You can name this anything, but I'm just going to go ahead and name it new text document, and open it up. Then in this document, what we want to do is go to the description of this video. Down there, you will have this. And this is a bunch of different codes. And specifically, it's corresponding to how much RAM your server has. 2 gigs, 4 gigs, 6 gigs, 8 gigs, for example, could be changed. How do you change the RAM? Well, you come in here and you change this XMX and XMS values here. So you want to come in here and change these values. And then what you do... That changes the amount of RAM the server has. So let's go ahead. We'll go ahead and start this server with 4 gigabytes. How much RAM does your server need? Well, it kind of depends on what you're doing with it. A vanilla server with two players or so usually runs pretty good on a 4 gigabyte server. If you're running a modded server, you could easily need 8, 10, or even 16 gigs of RAM. It really just depends on how much mods, how many mods, how many players your server has. The most efficient kind of server you can run is one with plugins using a paper, purper, or pufferfish. Those are all basically forks of spigot. And um, yeah, a lot of kind of gibberish there, but just know generally, four gigs is good for a vanilla server with a couple people. Six gigs is perfect for pretty much every vanilla server, up to about 10 players, you know, eight to 10 players. And then if you want to, you know, step into the modded territory, six, eight, 10, like I said, even up to 16 gigs of RAM can be needed for modded servers. It can be kind of crazy what modded servers can want as far as turn RAM amount goes. But nevertheless, for this server, we're going to go ahead and add these four gigabytes here. Now, what you then want to do is go ahead and click File, Save As, and save this as a run.bat file, a run.bat file, and make sure the save type as is all files. So run.bat, save type as, all files. Then click Save, and then now if we close out of this, we have this new run.bat file. But if yours doesn't say .bat at the end of it, you want to come up here to View and make sure File Name Extensions is checked. As you can see, if you uncheck it, the .bat part disappears. If you checked it, it appears. Now, at this point, you should be able to double click this if your server jar is named properly. As you can see, ours is uh, server.jar here. And that means we're going to be good to go. But if your server jar is something else, if it was like, for example, a paper server and it was like paper MC 1.3 or 1.4, if you double click this run.bat, it's not going to work. So we're going to go ahead and right click on your server jar file, whatever you use to start your server, and rename it to server.jar, right like so. And then double click the run.bat file, and the server is going to start. Now, this was kind of complicated. What if you want to easily be able to add more RAM to your server? What if you want to easily start your server in just a few minutes? What if you easily want to add mods, plugins, mod packs? Well, that's where our company, Simple Game Hosting, comes in. Go to the first link in the description down below to break down .xyz slash sgh to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. We have a one-click mod pack installer. You can easily add mods, plugins, anything else, and any other customizations you want to your server. And you can start small. You can start on a smaller package and easily upgrade later on if you do need more RAM on your server. On top of all that, there's expert live chat support and a high-quality help center to help you out if you have any issues along the way. So you go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown .xyc slash sgh and start your Minecraft server the simple way. Nevertheless, our server is started here, and as you can see up here at the top, we can see those what they call Java flags, which is XMX 4,000 megabytes, which is four gigabytes. XMX 4,000 megabytes, which is four gigabytes. If you wanted to add more RAM, you would just change that number in the server run.bat file. And we can see here, if we wanted this to be 6, for example, you can change this to 6,000 megabytes. You can easily find a conversion if you want to get it specific, but even just adding in, you know, 6,000 megabytes will generally get you there for base 10 RAM, for example. So change that to there. And then if we save this and now restart the server, when it starts this time, it will be using 6 gigs instead of 4 gigs, even though, you know, we didn't have a 6 gigs in the description. You can see it right there, 6,000 megabytes. So that's how you can add more RAM to your Minecraft server. 
what else do you want to do with your server? Let us know in the comment section down below, and we'll make guides on it, so be sure to do that. And if you do have any questions about adding more RAM, we are happy to help you out with that as well, so leave those in the comments. We will see you in the next video. My name is Nick, and I'm out. Peace.